Hi, I'm Srikant Pregata, founder and trainer of Srikant Technologies. In this video, I explain how you download, install, and get started with Java SE 15, also known as JDK 15. Let's get started. The best way to get to the download page is to search for Java SE 15 download. So look for Java SE 15 download. You can use any browser you like. I'm using Edge. You can use Chrome or any other browser you like. Just click on this. It's going to take you to the download page. So here is Java SE 15. And you need to go there and click on JDK download. Once you click on JDK download, you get this page, go down and you find different options for different uh, platforms. You have various options for Linux and options for Mac. And then I'm using Windows. So I go with this Windows 64 bit installer. So I click on this. So JDK 15 Windows x64 bin.exe is the file and it's going to ask me to accept license. I say yes, I accept and click on this. And this is going to download the file. And as you can see, it is getting downloaded here. So once it is downloaded, we are ready to install that. And let's wait for this to download. Uh, it takes hardly any time because it is 160 MB, which is no big deal nowadays. So once it is done, go there and say open when done. And you can set it aside. So when you run that exe file, it's going to ask you whether to run it. Say go ahead, click on run. Well, there you are. It's asking you to go ahead with the installation. So we are talking about Java SE Development Kit 15. So go ahead and say next. And this is very important. It's asking you where to install that. I always prefer to install JDK in root directory of C drive. So instead of choosing the default folder, I choose JDK 15 in C drive. And this is what my preference is. And I strongly suggest you go with the same so that it's easy to access that folder. So say, okay, and then next, and it is going to install. It doesn't ask you much. It's going to take a while to install. And once it is done, you're ready to use it. So how do we test it? How do we test whether it is really installed successfully and how do we write a small Java program, compile, and then execute? Let's see that once the installation is done. Well, after a while, the installation is successful. You get a message saying Java SE development kit is successfully installed. If you want, you can click on that to check out the documentation and so on. I just click on close. It's done. Now, it's time to see how to use this JDK to compile and run a Java program. First, let's go to command prompt. And if you don't know how to go to command prompt, just go to the search window and then type CMD and you can click on this to go to command prompt. This is the command prompt and my command prompt is slightly brighter just to make things more visible. I'm using a command prompt which is slightly brighter with bigger letters and a different background color. Okay, now let's test whether we really install Java correctly. So you can say Java version. And when you say you want to know what is the Java version, it is telling you, yes, you installed Java version 15. So this is how it is giving that. So that is the version. And this is uh, the release date, okay, 2020, September 15. Well, then the other program that we are interested in is Java C, which we use in order to compile the program. And it is saying is Java 15 
Java C15 is what you have. And this is JVM, this is Java compiler. Well, we need both of them in order to compile and run a program. So let's create a small Java program like this. This is my welcome.java. Nothing great about it. It's just a very small Java program. And this is uh, printing a message, welcome to Java. Now let's go and then save this program. And I'm going to save it in the directory that is classroom or wherever you want, you can save it, no issue. So you can say welcome.java or you can even put it directly in your JDK folder if you like. It doesn't matter, it's up to you. So I'm just putting it in JDK 15 folder. There I want to put it. Okay, it's going to be welcome.java. Well, make sure the name is exactly matching the class name here. Okay, now let's go into JDK 15. And there you find the program. Here it is, welcome to Java. Now just say Java C, welcome to Java. And if you typed everything correctly, it should be converting your .java to .class. So here you can see it's going to show you .class. There you are. So welcome.java became welcome.class. And now all that you need to do is simply say Java and welcome, and it's going to run the bytecode. So welcome.class contains bytecode, and that's what we are executing. That's it. We are done. So the steps are pretty simple. Go to your browser, download that. And once you download JDK 15 for Windows, then install it and choose the folder where you want to install. I prefer something like JDK 15 in C drive, but you can choose whatever you like. And then go to command prompt and then check whether you installed everything correctly, whether you are using the right version because it may happen sometimes that you have some older version of uh, JDK and that is being used, not the new version. So just check that and then type a small program like this in any text editor you like, save it with the name welcome.java and go to the command prompt, compile it like this. And once it's compiled, the next step is to run it. This is the way you run and you're done. Okay, give it a try. In case if you are using a different operating system like Linux or Mac, almost the same steps you have to follow. All the very best.